it's road trip time and we head to Northern California. We will visit the vineyards of Calistoga and Napa and then head to the scenic shores of Mendocino. It's quite a spur of the moment trip and though we have planned a stay, we have no other plans, particularly on charging. We'll be looking for level 2 charging as far as possible and try to work the best options there. We started at a 100% state of charge but now have some trip changes. We are planning to go to Napa first where we have our stay reserved but I now changed plans to visit Calistoga. Maybe eat there and have been told of this beautiful vineyard called Visatui on the road from Calistoga to Napa. At Calistoga we will check for free level 2 chargers. The Tesla navigation indicates arrival at around 53% but we will charge nevertheless. To take in whatever juice we can get there, this indicated state of charge is likely to improve. We'll know when there. When on road trips, there are a few important things to keep in mind. Smaller and predictable charging brakes are good for DC fast charging. Refer to the Tesla navigation to locate superchargers, the company's own DC fast charging network. At each location, the car will indicate the state of charge on arrival, the kind of charger, total and available charges, and available amenities along with a few pictures of the place. It's handy to check these things on the screen before you pick your choice. Tesla constantly adds locations. The idea is to get to the charger with as low a state of charge as possible and juice up just enough to reach the next charger, depending on the journey distance and time. That's how you do road trips, particularly long ones. The key factor is to never run out of charge. If you expect unpredictable and longer breaks, like typically over 30 minutes, in a journey like this one which is not too long, ideally wait to get to the destination and use apps like PlugShare or Chargeway to look for level 2 charging options. Remember, a level 2 slow charger at leisure is always the preferred choice unless unviable. We have already found a free level 2 charger at Calistoga. It's a free Tesla destination charger and a J1772 one. Probably there are a couple of them. The J1772 is the North American standard connector for level 1 and 2 charging. Tesla's adapter can help you charge your Tesla with the same. The set place appears to be at a town main street and may also have plenty of options to eat. From there, we'll head to the vineyard at V Satui, opposite to which too, I believe there are free chargers, but we may not need them. So this is how the trip to our first destination went. We reached Calistoga at a state of charge of 56% and the total journey was 118 miles. The drive from Calistoga to Napa is a short one, 27 miles in all to the south of Calistoga and takes around 40 minutes. We however had a stopover at the V Satui vineyard and were able to check its impressive history. All going over a hundred years. A good place to spend time and yes, there were two free level 2 chargers just opposite the vineyard. Both were unavailable and V2 had sufficient charge to reach Napa. The vineyard very much evokes the sense of the history of the Napa Valley and wine. We spent an hour and proceeded to a hotel at Napa. Having charged to 70% at Calistoga, we reached a hotel at 59%, consuming roughly 5.4 kWh. The hotel had no charger, but at 59%, we did not really need to charge at night. Would not leave it overnight at a low state of charge, 
not advisable for an EV. That evening in Napa, we checked in this very homely and beautiful hotel and strolled the town in the evening. We consumed the same energy we had added at Calistoga and the hotel had no charges. We were aware of this. As a practice, we always call the hotel to check either prior to reservation or arrival. It's always useful as it saves time. And in cases, the hotel staff often sets aside a charger for you, if available. However, across Napa City, we found a number of free charging options. So we decided to charge the car early morning when out for coffee and just prior to the departure to Mendocino. Found three options of free level 2 charging on PlugShare, but opted for the one nearest to the cafe of my choice. Charged the car to 89% and we proceeded on our journey to Mendocino. This trip was far too beautiful across the 101 and in the hills, getting closer and closer to the Pacific Ocean, so prefer to enjoy it rather than make a film. Finally perched here in this very beautiful resort in the mountains amongst the very tall trees on the shores of the Pacific Ocean. We plugged the Tesla immediately upon arrival on the free level 2 Tesla destination charger offered by the resort. There was little crowd at this point and the chargers were available all the time during our stay. We charged and maintained the battery at a high state of charge, generally around 80%. The following day we drove to Fort Bragg about 15 minutes away, which incidentally was the nearest Tesla supercharger location, had we needed it. We checked the glass beach, the surroundings and the little animals going about their ways, especially the squirrels. The Pacific Ocean is always a joy to be visiting. The town of Mendocino was a sleepy and pleasant one, with plenty of local businesses and some very good ones for that. We left for home the following day with a battery fully charged and for the final leg of this trip, the final 201 miles that made this a 533 miles in all road trip done completely on free level 2 charging and yielded an efficiency of exactly 5 miles per kilowatt hour. I know this is just the beginning of a wonderful time when more and more people will go electric and enjoy these experiences in a whole new way. Mm -hmm.